Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Frank, musician photographer here in the Midwest. And in this video, I'm going to show you two apps that will help you slow down your audio recordings. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, so this first one is called Music Speed Changer. Okay, so let's uh, dive right in. Oh, first off, this is a free app, and we're going to open it up and take a look at it. All right, so this is Music Speed Changer Lite. And as you can see, I already imported my track. Uh, let's take a look at the interface if you've never seen this before. Okay, so what do we have? We have a, a wave file as our main attraction right at the top. And then at the bottom, you have start, tempo, pitch, and then at the very bottom, you got the controls. So you got stop, play, open, full. All right, so let me just say right off the bat that you can't record audio with this app, so you're going to need a different app to capture your audio. So uh, let me talk on this, and the idea came from Beyond the Veil Investigations. So they do paranormal stuff, and they do a lot of EVP work, so they were asking for an app that can actually slow down your audio recordings in order to check their evidence. So... So, but this will work for a lot of different applications, not just that. So, in order to record your voice, now you can use all this for free. Say, like, if you don't have the gear or equipment to record with, you can use all these for free. So, if you never see my video on Audio Rec, that's another free app, and that allows you to record your voice, and you can save that as a file. So, what I have done is recorded my voice, and then... I imported the track to Music Speed Changer Light, which is free. And then from there, we're going to play that track, and then I'm going to show you some of the features. So let's let me show you how you open it first. So in order to get to your audio file, you're going to hit Open, and you're going to go to Load File, and it's going to go to your directory, and then you're going to find the one that you need. Now I already uploaded mine, so I don't need to uh, I don't need to be in here. So I can just go back. All right, so let's just go back. All right, but that's how you will get to your file. You would just import it, and then Music Speed Change will load it for you, and you'll see it on the graph. So let's just play it real quick. This is an audio recording for the Music Speed Changer Light app. Audio test, one, two, three. Audio test, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the example. All right. So let's uh, first take a look at what we can do here. So see on the top here, you see this marker? You can actually drag it to where you need it to. Say if you found a spot that you want to take a look at, and then you would drag it there. You just tap and slide it. And then you see this the one at the bottom here? It's for the end marker. So you click and drag or tap and drag or slide it to where you need it to. So for this demonstration let me just drag it to there and then uh, we're gonna bring our marker our main marker which is the, the red in the middle and then we're gonna drag it and then we're just gonna hit play so let's see the music speed changer light app. The music speed changer you see how it keeps looping the it music speed changer light okay let's pause that okay so let's say that you wanted to slow down just that part so what you would do is you would go to Temple, right? All right, so see, now you got the Temple screen. And on here, you can either slide this, and let's let's demonstrate that right now. So right now it's telling me it's 39. So let's go even lower. How, how low can we go? Okay, so we're, we're down by half, 50%. So let's close it, and then now let's play that part again. And let's see what it sounds like. The music speed changer light app. The music speed changer light app. Okay, so you see, you see how that works? Okay, so now let's say that you want to go back and then say like that it's too slow. You can go, you can tap on these arrows, like the top arrow here, and you can just go up incrementally, however you need. By steps you know but let, let's see let's speed up let's speed it up and see let's go to 200 and see how fast 
that song so you can speed up your voice too so let's check that out <laughs> okay so you see how that is okay that's enough of that okay so let's bring the tempo back to um, closer back to where it was back to the original now right, let's close that all right so you see how this uh changes and then you know if you wanted to find another part you would just drag the slider to another part and wherever you would need it you would just slide it to where you would need it and then let's just play that audio test one two three audio test one two three audio test one two three oh, okay so let's test, one, two, okay so as you can see that's how you would slow down your uh, audio track and a clip now let me just say this that this is the light version so if you wanted to actually take that audio clip and save it export it out uh, you would need to pay for the full version of this which is not that much I, I think at the time of this recording it's $2.99 for this app so it's actually very cheap and um, you know not not only can you bring in tracks from your uh, from your phone but you can bring in tracks from other devices or other recordings um, now you can use it also for like if you want to learn a song or if you want to listen to a book that's a long book and you want to uh, speed it up just slightly and you want to listen to it at a faster pace so you can uh, you know listen to it much quicker you can do all that as well um, so this is a, just a very short demonstration of what this can do um, just showing you how to slow down that speed all right, so let's uh, cut this off here, and now we're going to go into another app that I want to show you. It's another free app, so let's go to that, and then I will demonstrate how to use that. So, Okay, now let me demonstrate for you Audio Poet. This is another free app to slow down the pitch of your recordings or your audio recordings. Um, so you can see here's the interface of Audio Poet. Uh, so it's a, a bit different than the other one. Um, but let's uh, let's just have a look at what you can do. So you see it has this interface and it shows you the tracks or the length of your audio. And let's, uh, let's listen to that real quickly at normal speed. This is an audio example for the app AudioPole, which helps you slow down or speed up your audio recordings. Okay, so let, let's just pause that right there. Okay, so that's an audio recording I did on Audio Rack, and then I dragged it in here. Now this is this app as well. You cannot record with, but you can check your recordings with and slow down the recording. Um, and the way that you would do that is see this little file icon. You would click on that, and then you would go to the folder that has your audio tracks, which I already I already did and uh, that's how you bring in your tracks and then from here you will listen to it and then on the interface down here so let, let's see what um, this first one is so this this first one takes you to the marker to the very start wherever you tap to begin with right um, and here you can add markers so I'm, I'm looking at the very first top here um, now Let's uh, add a marker to a position that we want. So let's play it. Testing one, two, three, one, two. Test recordings. Testing one. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the beginning. This is an audio example. Okay, so let's say I want to start from there and I want to set a marker. So you see this down arrow with the plus. If you click that, you see the yellow mark that appeared on the top. Now it's gonna go from there and then loop wherever I add another marker to so let's play that for the app audio pole. okay so now let's add another marker so once you do that you can click back on the arrow or the forward arrow, arrow and it'll start it from where you set that marker from so let's take a look for the app audio pole, which helps you which helps you slow for the app audio pole. Okay, so you see how that does that. Now on the on the section down at the bottom, you can actually skip an entire track, go right to the beginning, or you can go back incrementally. You can hit play, or you can go forward a full track. I see if if you go forward a full track, it's just going to go to the next 
audio file that you have on your phone. So uh, I just want to stick to the one that I did for the example. All right, so let's just go and go to that marker that we added, and then I'm going to show you exactly how to... Uh, oh, if you want to delete a marker, you just want to go to the that marker setting, and then you just want to hit the minus, and that will automatically delete the marker. And uh, you also have an undo and redo function right at the top. Okay, so for this example, let's uh for the app audio poll. Okay, let's uh let's slow it down. So how do you slow it down? So now you see this 1.00 with an X. Click on that. Alright, so now you have the interface. So here it's showing you all the available speeds, and you can do a slider or you can just push a button, and then from there you'll be able to speed it up or slow it down. All right, so for this, let's go down to, let's bring it down to minus 50, and let's see what that sounds like. So, and then uh, we'll go back to the start of that marker. For the app, audio poll. All right, you see that? Now that's 50%, and let's go down even further. This We can actually go down to uh, 25%, and let's listen to that. Wow, so you see how do you see how slow you can so from the previous app to this one you can actually go down even more than fifty percent you can go down twenty five percent so you can slow it down even more so you see how useful this would be so again i'm I'm doing this for my friends beyond the veil investigations they wanted to see if there was an app out there that can slow down your audio recordings and I, I think like this one because you can go down to twenty five I think that's very good. Um, and I think it's very useful. Um, now, as far as if you wanted to export your, say you found uh, a piece and you wanted to save it as a slow down recording, it's a, a brand new track, uh, you would have to pay for the full version of this, and that's how, that's how this works. Um, now, I haven't fully investigated the entirety of it, but you know what, just as an example, why not, let's speed it up, Let's go to 200, the highest it can go, and let's play that. <laughs> so you see how, how fast that you can go to 200. Um, I'm just going to bring it back to the, I'm going to bring it back to one. And also, let me let me say this. So you, all right, now, another thing I should mention, that you can go incrementally. You see the minus and plus sign here. So you can go down by increments, single digits, and then just go down and slow it down or speed it up you know, by increments here, you know, you can do it that way, or if you can, you can just skip that and hit one of these buttons and it'll take you. Uh, you can also remember the speed for the file. So if you wanted to keep a certain speed for the file, uh, change the speed of the loop M. All right. So that is it guys. I'm going to cut it off here. I can go deeper, but I just want to sh quickly show you that. So the three apps you will need is audio rec to get your recording first off. And then you can either use audio poll right which I just showed you or you can um, use the other one which is music uh, speed changer light all right let me know if you guys have ever used this let me know how you would use it in your applications or, or if you can go further in some details if you use these apps in more detail let me know in the comments tell me what you think tell me if you found this helpful all right guys I look forward to your feedback and I'll see you on the next one bye bye